Crown Trick is a turn-based roguelite. Uh, you guys know I've been pretty heavy into, into turn-based and roguelites for, for a good while now. Uh, I'm always looking for the next the next turn-based game that I can I can uh, put on my Switch and go to sleep to. Uh, I'm, I'm not even kidding when I say this. Every single night, part of my sleep routine is I go and I lay down in bed, I pull out the Switch, and I pull up Fell Seal, and I play Fell Seal until I pass out. Uh, usually it only takes like 15 minutes or so because I'm already pretty tired by the time I go to bed. Um, but I'm looking for something else. I have hundreds and hundreds of hours into Fell Seal right now. I have a, an army of just completely just jacked, just completely jacked classes, uh, and I'm looking for I'm looking for the next thing. Now, Crown Trick is probably not going to be that thing. Not going to last for hundreds of hours. But what I've played so far, I can see the potential in getting at least at least several weeks in terms of like you know going to bed at night and playing it for a few minutes before passing out. I could get at least a few weeks out of it. What's nice about playing a turn-based game uh if you're someone like me who likes to play games so you pass out uh, <laughs> which i'm sure there's lots of you guys uh is that you know at any point in time you could just go to sleep and like the battle just stops <laughs> the battle just stops so you can just pick it up the switch will go to sleep by itself and you could just pick it up later on uh and that's uh, and that's you know that's kind of the, the kind of the draw when you want to play something uh that's kind of relaxing you could go to sleep too you don't have to worry about oh i don't want to fall asleep in the middle of this fight and then oh gosh oh, i wake up in the morning i lost all my stuff uh so crown trick you know there is progression uh there is uh there there is uh a turn-based combat system that is kind of a hybrid uh, reminds me of actually uh, of uh, sword in the stars um played that one i think we did it for breakfast on that one like a long 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 time ago uh it reminds me of that in terms of like the way it plays i mean it plays like a, a lot of different games of course uh but basically you do have your tile based grid movement uh this is your uh your starting area we could go through and you could do some get some upgrades here and over here in the bottom right corner we'll take care of that later i've already spent most, most of everything um now what happens is uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, trigger the next event. We only have one stage available to us. Uh, we haven't really beaten too much yet. <laughs> so you'll be left with 30 soul shards in the next departure, uh, while 21 will be removed. Proceed. Yeah, I can't afford to buy anything right now. So the soul shards is your pro progression currency. The gold is, uh, well, so far, there's still some NPCs I've not unlocked in the starting area. I think like Dead Cells and uh, Rogue Legacy. You have the Blacksmith, and you have all these different characters that are at the beginning. Um, there's a couple of characters I've not yet unlocked. So I'm guessing maybe at one point, one of them is going to be for gold. I could like throw gold at something. Um, so this is your starting. Yeah, you basically you choose your starting weapon. Uh, there are a number of different weapon types. They have shotguns. They have gauntlets. Gauntlets. They have swords. They have axes. They have hammers. They have uh, rifles. Did I say rifles? Yeah, no. They, they, they have daggers. Uh, so in terms of like your gameplay and how your character interacts with the with uh, with the environment in terms of offensively, uh, there's a million possibilities. Uh, now it also does support a keyboard and mouse. Uh, well, key well, keyboard and mouse, of course, it supports both of those. Uh, K KBM and controller, and it has two different UIs. You can see this switch it to controller or to uh, keep KBM, um, and they both play perfectly fine. I prefer the controller because, again, I'm looking for something up something for my switch. Uh, let me see, Coral Longsword. So you can see the attack pattern on this one, and then also on this one here. So you want to, this is where you start to kind of plan out how you're going to, like, what kind of run you want to have. Now you could, you get more weapons as you go along that will completely change your, uh, your fighting style just like this. Uh, but how do you want to start? Let me see. So this one has, uh, if two or more enemies are hit by a single attack, there's a 40% chance that they will be paralyzed. Cool. Line them up and hit them. 50% um, chance to consume no ammo when shooting. It's pretty great. Yes, you have to reload uh, as well. See, Coral Longsword obtain one stack of Coral Aegis every time the user defeats an enemy. Max two stacks. Every stack obtained can cancel out one enemy attack. Oh, attacks will never miss also. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's go for melee. Melee cleave. Uh, now this, this is where you, this is where the game kind of uh, differentiates itself from other, uh, from other, other titles um, in terms of like building a deck, right? So you start off, you have two familiars that you could carry. Uh, you can only start with one, and then you come across another one of these familiar crystals later, and then you could put one in the second slot. Uh, so this is where you kind of start to... You, if I got a weapon that was, like, uh, ranged, for example, I might want to get the fire breather because you could put a barrel down a few tiles away, and then I could shoot the barrel and make it explode and then all that, right? So so there's this synergy here that you're looking for with whatever weapon you that you, uh, that you select. Uh, now, I'm going to go with the Swatch Cluckler because the Swatch Cluckler has a... Uh, kind of a, a dive. Uh, I'll show you actually. Oops, uh, swatch cluckler. Boop. 
so uh, she can. Uh, so first, she has a two a two tile attack. Um, and this is gonna cost me a little bit of MP to do, but we'll gain it back. Uh, and this one will throw out a melee, throw out a, a range attack, and throw your character back. Uh, in almost all rooms, you're gonna have boxes that you want to run across and uh, smash. This is where you get your gold from, so you want to stack up on gold. You can actually uh, uh, augment the amount of gold you get per run um, by using one of the NPCs in your starting area. I think I have like a 10% or something on it. Um, I don't know if that's what the plus one is when he says three plus one coin. I don't know if that's what that means, but uh, here, let's see. Let's go, I'm going to hit this guy. Now he's... Ah, break. So once you uh, break them, you do a damage equal to the amount that I think is on that shield there. Uh, then they're stunned for a couple turns. So now I have an opportunity to just kind of get a couple slashes in. Done. This guy's actually still within my cleave range here, so I'll go ahead and hit him. So it says two, and then hit him one more time. He's gonna break, and then you see my break, you know, uh, uh, bar is going up. So now I do 20% more damage. It goes up to 100%. So it could do pretty, pretty good amount. Uh oh, it's a bomb. Just one. There you go. These things are always just like just sitting here. They're just like extra mobs that just kind of chill until you go over there and start beating them up. Poor guys. Poor guys. You also have a blink ability. Uh, which is critical to gameplay. It also adds to like if you have like a, a daggers or something like that. That uh, if you attack an, an enemy that's not alerted yet, you yes, you could kind of sneak up on them. Um, you'll do bonus damage. Uh, I don't have anything like that now. Uh oh, but I can put perfect. I'll show you this here. So this is my blink. It does not use any turns. Uh, so I could hit this, move forward, and I can actually do it again if I wanted to to continue moving forward. Um, I see that there is a barrel here, but I don't have a fire seat. So, okay, there is there is uh, elemental synergy as well. So you see this barrel that's right uh, right here. If I had a fire attack, I could hit that barrel of of, uh, of oil, hot oil, and it will uh, you'll burn everybody in the area. Uh, same thing with water and lightning. Um, same thing with. Uh, uh, ice and water so there, there's plenty of like elemental synergy that you can play with which is really great so you see the threes are are, uh, are blinking here that just means if i give him a good whack then that, that he's gonna basically be stunned both of them will whack now this guy's right behind me uh, let me see see launch four times two vertical tiles each time nah, we'll just go ahead and just there we go 50 percent Oh, this guy is serious. Is he aiming right at me? He should be. Let's move over. There you go. And those, that little uh, blue crystal, that's the, uh, what is it called? Dream crystal, I think? I think that's called dream crystal. Uh, but though, that's the currency that you can take with you um, uh, to use to upgrade, do, do upgrades in the lobby area. Uh, am I supposed to just like walk through this thing? Hmm. Um, I don't want to like hit it. I don't want to like blink past it either. I guess I'll just blink past it. It's kind of a waste of blinks. Hello. Let me see. Let me see if they get closer. Oh, they don't want to get closer, huh? Oh, uh, never mind. There's not a space between them two. So we'll go ahead and do this. We don't have anything else to do with it. But see, I can light him, light him on fire. But it's fine. He'll come to me. He'll line up. And I'll just take a couple hits here just to beat him up. Actually, I'm not taking any hits. Then we'll go ahead and get some gold and whatever this is, some more gold and some more gold. Moving on. Challenge encounter. Oh, here we go. Use weapons for less than 10 times in this room. The less weapon usage, the better the reward. Ooh, let me take a drink. This would be interesting. There are challenges that are like, um, don't take any damage kind of thing. Uh, that, actually, I don't, actually, I don't know of any other ones. <laughs> There's this one and the one you don't take damage. There's more than that for sure. Oh yeah, there was one that was uh, fill your, uh, get your combo bar or your break bar to 100%. And I had to blink around to do that because again, blinking doesn't use up any turns. That was the only way to keep my uh, break bar from diminishing. All right, so use weapons less than 10 times in this room. So that's gonna be a lot of mana usage. Let's see. I can hit this guy, give him a whack here. This is kind of a weapon, it's a skill. And then I can give him one of these and bounce back. Break bars up. Ooh, do I want to attack him though? Jeez. Oh, oh man. Whiff. Mm, okay. Trying to 
use that more than anything here. I could use my, let me see, I think he's the only enemy in the room. Um, so I have eight weapon uses left. I could uh, use my, see down here in the corner, bottom left corner, I could use this and so regain my some, uh, uh, some MP and HP. Um, oh boy, that's a waste. <laughs> here, let's do this. Let's teleport out of the way. We're, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna earn MP over time. Oh, there's another guy down here. Hmm. We should line these dudes up. God, I wish I had an... Oh, yes. Cool. Yeah, we'll just keep messing with that, actually. Let me see. I'm not gonna do anything to this guy just yet. Because, yeah, this guy's gonna kill himself on the fire. Beautiful. Then we'll come up here. Then we'll... One, two. That's like easier than I thought. Oh, like what? Two crowns? Loot! Nothing landing on the fire. That's cool. Good, good, good. Lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Awesome. These are fast travel nodes right here. You can hit this and then you can move between them if you want to. Just like that. Ah, this is where we get our second familiar. Now, now we can add something. I'm definitely going to add the fire breather because I missed that barrel. I, I usually roll with the fire breather first. Whoops. Um, because of that barrel. That barrel is just so handy. Just throw it at basically anything. If an enemy is attacking and you see the the area. Oh, I didn't explain that part, actually. If, the, if you see the area where they're going to attack, uh, you can drop a barrel right there and it'll blow up. So it's, it's just uh, very, very flexible. Okay, so we have a mini boss in here. Um, so again, you can see we have exploding barrels next to uh, uh, hot oil. <laughs> Boiling oil, so. Oh, and they're just kind of lined right up. She. Let me see. Can't quite reach it, that one. That's a huge waste just to do the one guy here. Let's see if we can get more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this can go in a straight line, yeah. Okay. You just gotta get- Oh, they're gonna do the work for me. Two. One. Teleport. Go ahead and pass time here. Skip turn. Oh, baby. And then I can just turn and hit this. Then roast. <laughs> oh, one. Hmm. Let's go over. Give him a couple hits. Let me see. One. one. Oh, dang. We could. Oops. Jeez. Ah, it's my fault. I stepped forward. I shouldn't have. Uh, I was gonna say I could put a barrel down here, right here, and that'll immediately ignite and do a good amount of damage there. And then we could break. So yeah, notice that you 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 can see the tell the area where they're going to attack. Gosh, that's annoying. And that'll give you an idea of like how you want to plan your next move. So you don't wanna you don't wanna like hold down the run button while you're while you're. Uh, uh, in battle because you'll go through two or three steps pretty quickly and I've done that plenty of times. This is where like the D-pad might come in a bit handy versus the joystick. Let me see, or the thumbstick. Let me see, um... Cool, relics. Alright. Relics are just basically augments, like just b buffs that you could get. Um, every roguelike has this. Uh, and they, you know, they do a million different things. Some of the ones in this game are pretty interesting, though, because they're based off, because it's a turn-based game, they base a lot of things off of, like, how many turns or combos or stuff like that. Um, and so, like, this one on the right-hand side, Chameleon Paper, says when an enemy is hit with a skill, the elemental resistance uh, corresponding to that skill will be reduced. When the resistance of that aspect is below zero, it will be turned into a weakness. So, if you hover your mouse or your cursor over an enemy, you can see what they're weak to. Um, but in this case, you know, you could basically make them with this. You can make them uh, weak to anything uh, just by hitting them with something a number of times. See, reduces all hits taken that are five or less to dam damage to one. Woo, that's pretty cool. When using a skill, there's a 20% chance that the MP cost will be reduced by 100% of its base value. Also very handy. You have 200 mana. Um, so anything that can reduce the cost is also, is really good. Um, you know, I'm in, I'm in people's faces a lot. I would say maybe five or less. I don't know how often this happens. You know what? Because of that, I'm not going to choose it. Let's do this. 
We got a key. Dream key. Just a key to open chests. You guys know what keys do. Ah, this is the boss entry room. Uh, we're gonna go back though to here. Make sure we get all of our loot and everything, and then we'll teleport back and do and do that. Whatever that is. Let me see. Spend that key, and we get a stat scroll. And whoops. Stat scroll will let us do attack three or skill power three. So what are we focusing on, right? I think I think we should go with attack three. You get a fixed bonus. You see the bottom of the fixed bonus is the same. So you're going to get attack three, uh, skill power five percent, uh, 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 physical defense and uh, elemental defense. That's going to go up anyways. Uh, and you can see that information when you highlight her portrait in the corner here. So my normal attack damage is 63, skill power 112, P-Res 1717, and then you see dodge, crit, and crit damage. Um, I had a crit build in the last run I did right before recording that was 50% crit or something and then 175% crit damage um, and my skill power was like 215 and I was just doing godlike damage I just ended up succumbing to just overwhelming amounts of enemies um, but it was a fun build though it was daggers too. So it was like, even if I did a range attack, like a you know fire or barrel or whatever, it did stupid amounts of damage because on top of regular, uh, the reason why I was such a high uh, 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 skill damage was because I had something that doubled the skill damage, but doubled the, the MP cost. So it was costly to do anything, but the damage it did was outstanding. Oh, hmm. Well, I can't open either one of these, so we'll go and do this. Collect everything we can. Money, money, money. Hopefully we come across a money room. And then of course we can, um, let's get out of the, we can teleport to, we'll go over this one. So much more map to explore. Oh, ooh, hmm. Okay. These guys are not really lined up for me to take advantage of this. If I go here, I think I could probably pass a turn, pass one more. Nope, okay. Oh, oh, dang it. Now I got my MP back. Yeah, you do collect, you get MP, you earn it by uh, attacking or, or getting kills. Oh gosh, it's freaking, come on, Fantasia. Mm-hmm, let me see. Don't want to waste MP on this guy? Nah, let's just try to kill him. Switch to this actually. Yeah, he's dead. I get these two. Oh no, it's not nothing. Oh, it's nothing. So there wasn't shit in here. <laughs> there really wasn't anything here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there's a tiny little walkway that goes there to there. We don't need to go there. Oh, there's something down here. You want to do this because the game does start to ramp up in difficulty. It's not like a terribly difficult game, but uh, but you know. And there's only one difficulty setting, but it will get you sometimes. All right, so you see this guy's like, huh, what's that sound? So this is my opportunity to... Come on. There we go. And now he's like, what? And now I'm here. And then I whack. No bonus or anything. Oh, he dropped a couple things too. Break. Oh, bomb. Hmm. Uh, we'll just teleport away. Is that gonna blow up on that guy? Wait, let's, let's pass one more turn here. One, there we go. I just wanna make sure that he doesn't get away from the blast area. Beautiful. Beautiful, let's see, what's this? Uh, Spear of Scorching Lava. Ooh, when hitting two enemies at once with this weapon, form a fire tile where the target is standing. That's really cool. Huh. And this is a uh, sort of corrosion. Uh, H max HP minus 20% whenever you, whenever your attacks crit, regain 10 HP. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really cool too because, I mean, first off, it does more damage. Um, and also, it it gives me uh, an opportunity to get some health, which is something that I've not picked up from anything else uh, so far. And we see unstable reinforced shield. So these are items. Generate 50, H 50 HP shield for uh, three turns. Should the shield be uh, depleted before its duration runs out, the caster will be stunned for one turn. Otherwise, caster gains uh, 20 HP. Okay, so don't use it unless you plan on actually getting hit. <laughs> that's what that's telling you. Ah. 
Ooh, you know those 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 areas like in Monster Train, you stop at a, at a certain area and it has this like little story and it tells you choose three things or you could just leave. Uh, so this is basically one of those types of things. Uh, they're different challenges and you could just you know get uh, a buff or sometimes actually in this case is all like a buff. Uh, sometimes you get fed a uh, there's a downside right? It's got a cursed item. So it's an Aquaman table that looks well used and treasured. Judging from its material and its style of its decorations, you decide that the table is a different origin than the rest of the furniture. You discover the few types of herbs neatly organized on the table. It seems you'll be able to make some kind of medicinal brew with them. Uh, would you like to try your hand at alchemy? All right, so HP fully restores, skill uh, skill power plus 8%, restore HP skill power plus 4%. Okay, I don't necessarily need uh, HP right now. Um, so we'll go and do this. You and just a mystery brew conjured by yourself and feel instantly better. Mm-hmm. Skill plus 8%. Awesome. And you see, you just keep on getting more skill plus, skill plus, and then eventually... Oh, here we go. Uh, eventually, you'll have 200%. All right. So you received a blessing from your devout prayers to the statue. Both you and all enemies will die in one hit after you open a chest. Clear three combat rooms. Boss excluded to, get, to be rid of this, quote, blessing. So boss battles ex excluded, which is fine because that's the next thing we have to do. So this actually might end this run early. <laughs> this might end up being a quick run, but this is a pretty hard one to pass up. Because um, I want to see what this is. Let's do it. So. I uh, see you and all enemies will kill on a single hit. Complete three combat. Okay, okay. So I guess we don't know what the what it is until we finish or we complete three rooms. Ooh, that's exciting. This is gonna be this is gonna be really hard given on melee. <laughs> it's like really hard. All right, let's go. This is the end of the run. <laughs> Doesn't count a boss room, so we at least have that going for us. Poison tiles will add stackable poison effects to targets. Ah, this lady. Okay. Let's wait, wait till she gets close. What are those orbs? Oh, those are actually, huh, mobs. So she's gonna come in here. I'm gonna give her one more, one more go. Here we go. Get her deep into it. There. Actually, gonna throw us down. Just explode this bitch on her. Bam! Now let's get out of the way over here and see if we could do some damage without her blowing this thing up behind me. Right? Oh, the tornado puts out fire. Mm-hmm. As you'd expect. Let's go and hit this thing, actually. Face off with her. The shield's keeping me up. Let me see. Maybe I shouldn't waste the shield, though. Put a barrel down right there. Oh, I'm still in the way. <laughs> I'm still standing in the goddamn fire. <laughs> so we can go here, turn, attack. Let's see if we could get her to go back in. Yep. They're not the brightest. Oh, damn. She got me cornered. I'm gonna eat this. Because I would rather take the damage there than waste this uh, relic that gives me a shield. Because that shield will come in handy when I'm going to take one hit in the next room, right? Okay. So her next... Next time she does an attack... What's she going to do here? Oh, she... Hmm. I want to give her an opportunity to... Ah, oh, dang it. Not that. Okay, let's get in her face here. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna do a hit. Then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna hit her with this. Just to keep that damage rolling. There we go. I get some MP out of the deal. Let me see. We're gonna attack with this. And then we will... Perfect. Get out of the way. Uh, barrel still up. We could throw the barrel down here on this little bit of burning. And it should... Yep. Good. And then we'll break this again. Oop, normal attack, fine. Mm, let me think. Let's warp away. Maybe here. And we're going to drink. Refill all of our business. <laughs> see if she can get her to line up here. 
Come on over here. Oh my, yeah, keep taking fire damage. She's basically dead. I just wanna. And then. Good. The hard part is still coming though. We still have three rooms to clear. Okay, let me see. Weapon Blueprint, Dragon Slayer. Cool. I can't make anything yet, I don't think. But th actually, I think that just allows the thing to um, to appear in-game. I get a run. Uh, let me see. The effect of your elixir is raised by 50%. Duration of all buffs will increase by three turns. Uh, the duration of all debuffs applied to you will reduce by one turn. I wonder if that applies to my current debuff. It's a curse, though, right? There's no way. Um... So let me see. Duration of all buffs will increase by three turns. Let's do the. Let's do this one. Let's see the stat scroll. We can put some more into skill power or, or crit damage. We'll skill power. And then in here, this is the uh, the segue, um, like lob lobby where you could go through and spend some money. Well, first you could talk to her, and she'll give you some health. Then she disappears. And then over here, you can spend some of your hard-earned cash to, to unlock Dragon Slayer. So yeah, it'll basically, basically make it uh, available to be purchased. So here we go. Uh, Wisdom of the Frost, extend frozen status. Apply will count. I'm not doing anything frozen related. Cause explosions in a 3x3 three three square area around user when passing by a lava. Huh, okay. Uh, let's see, there's a 30% chance that crit damage you deal with a crystal critical strike will be increased by 150%. That's significant. Um... Let me see, blotting papers, removes greasy debuff, let me see, generates a pool of poison, and then horn of ice. Okay, so none of that stuff really speaks to me. I would say, if anything, try to get something that's ranged, but none of these are really ranged. Like, I mean, yeah, there's two squares, three squares, but this is, uh, let's see, whenever you hit a target three tiles away, applying one stack of poison. That might be pretty useful. Um, and it kind of falls in line with my current build. Let's get it. I might regret that later, but it's fine. And then we get this too. You want our crits to crit hard, man. And then we'll keep our current um, relic bottom right corner because we need that. How does this attack work? Let me see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. There's tons of weapons, like just a stupid amounts of weapons. There's, 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 they're typically just like in three categories, right? It's just like melee range and then range and then, um, um, well, melee, melee, uh, oh no, there's, there's like different patterns, right? Basically, there's a couple, several different patterns, but there's like two different types, melee and range, of course. Um, but there's no like, uh, uh, casting like wands where you could cast something like seven tiles away. Nothing that I've seen. That's all skill-based stuff. Okay, so we have oil and ice. So can we spec down here a little bit? I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try this. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, that's not going to blow up the dude, so... Whoops! Oh, Jesus! That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let me see if we can't... You know, hit this. Shield. And then... Good. Remember, we can't take any damage. Mm, this should kill him. Good. Cast one. Oh, the buff is- the debuff is gone. Oh, it went away at the end of the, uh, at the end of the last... Uh floor or whatever. Hmm. Well, dang. Did I get- I didn't get anything out of it then. Well, I guess that's- oh god, another one. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Uh, open this chest to obtain a rare relic. However, you not be able to switch weapons lasting for three floors. Oh, hold on a second. Let me see. What do I have? Let's do it. I could- I could deal with that. Open. So, what do we have? When using poison skills, inflict two stacks of poison to a random target within a two-tile radius of your character. I don't have any poison skills. Uh, so yeah, this doesn't do anything for me. That's sad. It's fine. I don't. I don't. Unless I can come across a crystal, let's be swap out my familiar with a uh, with one that uh, deals with poison, because I do have one that will. 
uh, that was 100 MP, that was all it was, uh, then uh, it's not worth it, not worth picking up right now. But these are 3 plus 1. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, well, look at this. Well, looky what we have here. I think this is a poison one, right? Let me see. Uh, oh, it's wind and... Oh, it's wind damage. Oh, I don't have a poison guy. Well, just for the sake of keeping things interesting, let's go ahead and swap out the Swash Cluckler with the Abaddon because Abaddon is a pretty cool... Dang it. <laughs> it's not all I want. <laughs> you here. Here. Good. Uh, Abaddon is pretty dope because you could summon a... Uh, oh, you could summon a... Uh, one, you could get a um, shield around you, and then the second thing you could summon is an actual uh, familiar to kind of fight alongside you. It's like a, little, like a, a ranged skelly, and he'll just kind of hang out with you and just do damage. Oh, gotcha! Here we go! Time to gamble! Time, time to gamble! Uh, so this is, uh, I mean, it's a slot machine. You can, um, one, two, three, you can ban stuff, but when you ban stuff, it ends up costing more. And you can see that here, 50, 50, 50. So hit this, now it went up 50, hit this, it goes up 50 again, do this, it goes up 50 again. So you can spend all of your, oh, that's, sorry, this goes up considerably, uh, getting rid of that one. Uh, so it's more than just 50, it goes up uh, much more than that every time. Um, exponential, looks like. So, yeah, you can uh, spin the wheel for 100 and uh, try your luck to get something awesome. And we did! Hey! So this is, let's see, wow! So much better than what I'm using. So you gain uh, five physical defense for each enemy your weapon is, uh, in your weapon attack range. 10% chance to block any normal attack received and reduce break points one extra time when damage, um, uh, damage enemies within a three point. Okay, cool. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Cannot switch weapon. Oh, that's right, can't switch weapon. <laughs> I didn't even pick up that damn thing. <laughs> Lasting three floors. <laughs> I can't switch anything. It wasn't skill. It was weapon. Oh, man. All right. Well, hey, cool. We just threw away money. Whatever. Whatever. I don't want that money anyways. Okay. <sighs> let's go and let's go and spawn our boy here. There we go. It goes right to work. Oh. Good. Octopus thing. And we have to get out of the way here. Actually, no, we could tank this for a second. We'll put a shield on us. Fire shield. As long as that stays intact, which looks like it is, our our uh, sword buddy is doing most of the work here. I don't think that they've targeted me at all. Here, let me see. Actually, let me. Uh, can I target further away? No. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say, that was going to do it. <laughs> that was a strong attack. All right. Let me put another guy here. He's going to do quick and then... There we go. Whoa. Remember, it causes a splash of poison damage all around him when he's at maximum range here. Okay. Here comes the mads. My damage is at 100%. I should just face off with this guy. Oh, Jesus. That was... Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Beat him up. Beat him up. King Octo. Crystal's activated. I've never faced off against that guy before. Oh, that's it. Okay, so I'm in a random relic. What do we have here? Whenever your skills deal damage, you remove 10 shields and increase damage done with this skill usage by 50%. Huh. I don't... I don't think I necessarily have enough shields at all times or anything, but it, that would work in great synergy with certain skills. Um, <clears throat> oh, it must be for the enemy. Anyways, uh, let's see. When hitting an enemy without critting, obtain a... Oh, sorry. This is a good one. It basically keeps stacking until you can crit like crazy. But continuously using the same skill, reduce MP cost of that skill by 20%. Hmm. Let's go with this. Kind of in a modified melee build right now. So we could swap out a familiar if we want for the new one. This guy is poison. Actually, this would synergize pretty well with my weapon that I can't get rid of. Oh, wait. Yeah, with weapon I can't get rid of. So let's put him in the fire breather spot. There we go. 
See? Kind of switch it up a little bit. Switch it up. This is good. Challenge encounter. Oh, baby. Use skills for less than 10 times this room. The less skill uses, the better the reward. Okay. First, let's try to get in. Oh, we gotta... Let me see. Now he sees me. Let me see that. I'm gonna go for the uh, attack. Hmm. Don't yeah. Don't use skills at all. I guess is the is the key. We'll just keep our shield up. That's the only skill we'll try to use. I don't know what her she's doing here, but oh. Bam. I guess that could have been pretty easy to do uh, without any skills, just taking some damage. Lots of gold, though. Lots of gold and a cannon. What's that do? <gasps> you can really control this thing? Jeez, today I learned. That's awesome. All right, we'll go here. Hey, this is a pretty good run so far. I mean, we're still, like, early, but... Oh, hey! Oh, he got unlocked another character! Okay. Let's get our friend out. And then... What do these skills do? Let's take a look. Um, so th this one first off was... Whenever you hit a target, this team is one of the poison targets. Okay. Uh, this one is uh, fire a toxic energy mass in a four tile line. Okay. You can see some more poison damage and generate poison tiles. Awesome. That's a really cool ability. And this one is uh, deceptive poison wave. Generates poison waves. Dealing 107 poison damage to targets within a 5x3 area and poisoning them. If this gets a target on, on, on poison, uh, <laughs> imprison the target for two turns. So you can poison something uh, using using this and then turn around and use this. See, that's good synergy there. That's good synergy. Okay, now let's get a good angle on these guys. Boom. Oh, fire. Hmm. Okay, well, let's change it up. Oh, I don't have any fire abilities anymore. I bleak this guy is just at the edge of my... Yep. Hit that. Poison everywhere. Uh, he's poisoned, so now we can use this. And that just... Yeah, wow. That just wrecked that guy. Nice. So now we got Grandma here. I didn't. I missed what she said. Here we go. I can't say that I personally endorse the use of violence, but thank you nonetheless. Successfully unlocked. Rescue Amanda. God, she's just so fast. Rescue Amanda of the item shop. Okay, so she's a item. I guess that's where the money's going to go after we go back in. Because there is an option to increase the amount of money you could carry over back into the um, uh, into the Nightmare Realm, it's called. Uh, the starting area. I see on use to teleport to use to random location. Fight. Oh, cool. We can uh, swap those, I think, right? There's a way, I think, to swap. Maybe not. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, so the... Do I still have... I got three floors of this, of this nonsense. Let's go fight a boss. <laughs> Let's go fight a boss. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. Well, first, let's get our familiar out. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so what does she do? Okay, she throws... Um, I guess let's go... There's poison behind her. Just out of reach, though. For everything, I think. Ah, cool. Hit her with this. Oh, that didn't quite do what I wanted, but it's fine. She's poisoned, so that's all that matters. Here comes her help. Let's just keep on hitting her while everything's sprouting up around us. I think just jumped there. Unable to move. Oh, I've been... Okay, I see. Hmm. Do I have to turn around and beat this thing up then? Oh, thankfully it's easy. Let's see, get over here. Elemental shield. Okay, so she's invulnerable for a moment here. Let me take a look and see what I have options-wise. Let's get this guy out. He could do something. Do a little bit of work. Oh, nice. Uh, doesn't quite make it to her, but... I don't have any MP. Hmm, let's go ahead and regen. And then let's see. She's gonna hit me in a second. Go back. Step out of the way. 
And then I think I can extend... Oh, not really. Okay. Let's just do this. Keep, the, keep that up. I think we get to smash through it. Let me see. It says, uh... Immune to all ground effects, it says. So we'll just keep on... Yeah, we'll keep on beating her up then. So long as she's gonna stand there, I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, now let's do... Try to do some synergy here. She's cleaned it up. Okay, let's take a step back. That way we can maximize this. Look at that. Hmm, I want to get that guy out of here. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, she teleported. Hmm. We'll go this. There we go. Change elemental. Okay, so now... Oh, no, she's still poison. This fire is not going to get to her. But this water will splash. Uh, not on her necessarily. Is this guy? Oh, it's not one of my guys. <laughs> Who's this guy? Uh-oh. Here, let's go here. And then we'll slap him. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hit this. And then, yeah, it doesn't reach her, so... Oh, crap. She got some work. She worked me there a little bit. What is she charging up here for? It says, uh, she's, she's weak to fire, but, um... Well, let me see. Let's keep going. Each stack provides 50 points of shield absorption. Yeah, it's her shield. Fluid bending. Each stack increases skills. He poison. Take two damage. Yeah, well, that's, that's me. <clears throat> Need to keep on... I mean, my, my, my arrow dude over there is doing work, too, which is great. Good break. I should get some uh, MP here in a second. There we go. Uh, so he's gonna do another attack there. There's nothing else I can... That, those barrels are just out of reach. I don't know if... I'm not gonna waste my time with those. Uh, but he's gonna do an attack here. And she's poisoned, so let me... Just let me just check on this real quick and we see. Generate poison toss. This one is, uh... Yeah, if his, yeah okay, so in prison. Cool. Oh, the prison doesn't work on these. So this is... Yeah, basically we're just doing damage. But yeah, you can't imprison bosses. They're gonna go where they wanna, they're gonna wanna go. Nope, that guy's gone, so we'll pull him back. He's very helpful. Oops. Call help. I don't have help myself. Let's go and pop this last one here. Then we will... You... Is she gonna hit me? Is she targeting me? Maybe. Nah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I'm out of... No, I'm not. Come on, get me over here. There we go. I do this all day. Oh, this is gonna imprison me or something. Uh, how do I want to get out of this? We'll just warp away here. Get this guy in here to tank. Hmm. Nope. Now she's all on the other side. I mean, she's dead. She's dead. I just have to get, get to her. That's all. Whoa, uh, one more of those. Okay, she's gonna imprison me here, which is fine. I think I can deal with it. That poison should get her. Get that. I'm standing on water here. Hold on. Um, yeah, it's about before she freezes it or something. Oh man, it's looking a little dicey. Nope, break. There it is. Boom. Bam. Done! Finito. So easy. So easy. Stat scroll. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do crit damage. We're going for a balance build. Let me see. Uh, advanced relic lock. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these. 
Whoa, okay, so reduce MP cost of all skills by 40% of their base value. However, the cooldown of all skills will be increased by three turns. Ooh, ouch. Skills will also be able to crit. You when using a skill, there's a 24% chance to recast the ability on the same target. This one is pretty sick. I've used this one before, so I'm gonna go for it. I love to try new things, but but that one is actually pretty good. So uh oh, what is this? A no fly zone, huh? What does all me do? Where's the uh, trap door? Oh, that's a trap door. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen the trap door in this tile set yet. I was looking for the wooden the wooden staircase. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna get a refill. We're gonna be able to spend some money. This one runs long, going longer than I thought it would, guys. Whoa, it'll be a long episode. <laughs> yeah, interact. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, this thing's a purple though. Heaven's Piercer. See, there's a chance to knock back Okay, HP. Uh, I kind of like what I'm using right now. Having everything, having things at the max distance there does a significant amount of damage. It's really good. Um, but wow, look at the physical damage increase and the magic damage increase. Like this almost seems like a no-brainer to just get, right? Like just get it. It's just does so much damage. Uh, whether or not it synergizes with your bullshit. Let me see, increases maximum HP by 30%. Uh, whenever you defeat an enemy, increase. Okay, yeah, let's get it. Oh, can I? Oh, I forgot you can't. So I keep forgetting. I've. <laughs> oh man, I keep forgetting. Oh, it's killing me right now. Let's see. Glasses of opportunity. Um, extra options will be available for all lock type drop. There is a way I think to skip the. Um, let me see if I hold down right bumper. Yeah, that's right. I will say there is a way to skip or to uh, switch items here. Um, room of teleportation. Cool. So I can't have. Well, wait, actually, this is locked. I wonder if that means I can't have more than two items. That's something you have to unlock as you uh, as you get more characters and whatnot. Progress. Let me see. Extra options will be available for all lock type drops, and then normal bonus damage, normal attack damage will now gain a distance damage bonus, increasing five percent per one tile distance. See this? This would play really well with the current weapon. So let's get that. Let's get the one thing I can afford. <laughs> Thank God it didn't let me buy it. Can you imagine if it let me buy it and then and then tell me that I can't switch? God, just like the stupid gotcha machine. Jeez. Jeez. Let's see what this tile set is. Ooh, City of Steam. Enemy down here. Doesn't know I'm here yet, but he will. Let's go ahead and get out uh, my partner. Let him do some work. Hmm. Was that a machine shooting that? That was a pretty far distance for a mob. Mm, he's gonna go. Electricity would be really great right now. Ah, it's just like a sharpshooter. Perfect. That's what we need. That kind of range. You can break it before you get even get do anything. Will this guy get close to? Break. Poison. All kinds of stuff. Oh no, he's gonna. Here we go. And there goes our friend. Would have summoned him again, but gosh, so costly. Can't switch weapons. Boy, I really screwed myself with that one. So many opportunities. Oh boy, let's see what else we can do. <laughs> how else I can screw myself? Sacrifice your blood to obtain a rare relic in the chest. You will not die from this from now. Let's do it. And what do we get? Reduce MP cost of all skills 40%. Oh gosh, to cool down increase. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's cheaper. We don't have to use it quite as much, and we could just focus on just uh, hitting dudes at the range with that, with our poison boxing gloves. Hmm. 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 Why does he mix poison and electricity? I wonder. This won't reach. Well, yeah, it does reach. Hmm. Let's step up a little bit. Okay, he's not going to move forward. So we'll use this as our test here. Oh, basically nothing. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was any kind of synergy there or anything. Woo! I still have tons of MP, by the way. <laughs> no surprise there. Let him get to work. But these guys are just out of my range. I'll have to go here and then turn around and then start whapping. 
Oh, he's gonna charge. Oh, but yeah, I can't go reach. Okay. Ooh, ouch. That was my friend. That I'm gonna bring right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did it. I was gonna bring right back. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Wow. Blue, don't blow it towards me. Okay, normal attack. Nice down. Let's go and summon again. Oh boy. I'm getting a little nervous. I mean, I have another. I have two potions here, but I don't want to necessarily use them if I don't have to. Okay. Good. I wasn't nervous. Shun, new character. So now I can now I can use him actually. Let's see what his abilities are. Let me see first this. Uh every time damage is taken, increased damage taken for all enemies within a 3x3 three three square. Oh wow, it's like revenge. Uh when continuously using the same skill, reduce MP cost by uh a skill by 20%. That's not really gonna stack very well, I don't think. For every five skills used, the MP cost of the next skill will be lowered by yeah, any of these lowerings of skill. Costs are useless to me right now because the percentage is not going to be valuable. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I don't know what the... I, I, I don't shoot water at it or something? I can see shun. So shun does what? Should we swap out? I can't swap weapons, so I'll keep going for the... For the... the. Well, you know what? Let's see if we have two familiars out. I don't know if, I don't know if we could do that. Oh, you know I don't think he's actual... Um, Let's take a look at his abilities here. I don't think he, he actually spawns. Let me see. Become invincible this turn. Oh, that's dope. Uh, Half Moon Slash. Okay, yeah, he did use that attack on us, actually. Okay, so he doesn't really spawn, so fine. We, we still get the... Uh oh Take damage for less than five times in this room. The less damage, the better the reward. Okay. I feel like that should be attainable. Oh, guy's up there. Uh, let's get him to come down a little bit more. There we go. Poisoned. And what was this thing? Uh, become invisible one turn for every one damage received. Increase 1% skill power. Okay. Well, we don't want to be damaged at all here. So let's put our boy down here. Break. Good. Oh, gosh. I'm going to take damage here. Oh, yeah, I did. Damn. Two? Two crowns? Two crowns. Ah, I could have had three crowns. Yeah, get out of that thing. There we go. Loot. Money, money, money. And then, what is this? Uh, blueprint. Space-time overdrive. Cool. Very low on health. I have tons of mana. Can't imagine why. Oh, it's a boss fight. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go, let's, uh, let's go ahead and refill, because we're going to need that. We can swap weapons out, it looks like. Do we go up three floors? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, does the does the the uh Segway lobby, like where you stop and get like buffs and everything, uh is that count as a floor? Because like what is this? Uh oh. Oh my god, this guy's so hard. Yet another new sample. He's got a shield. And the only way to break that shield is by killing his um hold on, let's take a look at this this thing here. Crit okay, so yeah, we did lose that debuff. Sweet. Anyways, the only way to break that shield is by killing one of his mobs. His ads here. Oh, he's gonna come to me. That's even better. Oh, let's go ahead and let him. Do it. Let me see. We'll use this. I need to take more damage though. Otherwise, I'm gonna take damage. Oh, no, it healed me. Cool. So now he drops his item. Magical device that could somehow cancel Dr. Frank's shield. So use it. And then I think you uh, select it. And then you gotta get close. So we'll do here. And then we'll use it. And now we, we're gonna stand in the fire. Jesus. 
Let's go back here so we can do maximum damage here. Nice, walking on the lasers. Oh, this is fantastic, actually. Good. New phase looks like, maybe. Let's see if we can step through this without, uh, okay. Oh. Gonna use that ability. Oh, it's still charged. It's time to get closer. I'm, I, I'm not being, I'm poisoned, but I shouldn't have walked that poison. Figured I could just take it. We break this guy. Good, good. That's a good spot for that. What is he gonna do here? I'm just gonna attack that one. Oh, face teleport. Mm, I wonder if I could. Oh, oh! I didn't pick up the item. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Need this thing to. Oh shit. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's bad. Unable to attack. Skipping turn. Not enough blink uses. Oh boy. Can't do anything. Let's get this guy down. Let's just walk through the poison. Let's we'll take the poison damage. Become invincible. See how that works out for us here. And then let's use the teleport. They're taking damage, which is great. Not enough blink uses, so I'm gonna take damage here. Huh. Fire shield didn't- oh gosh, I don't know if that really helps. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and heal up. We'll grab this. We'll pick it up this time. We'll select it. Then we're gonna try to teleport over here. Oh, he's down one. Dang it. He's gonna teleport. He's gonna teleport right there, which is just out of range of my. Well, wait. What if I can? Oh, oh! Did I not do anything? Oh my god! Who's this little guy? I see. So it radiates out. It doesn't actually. It doesn't actually you cast against him. It just radiates outward. Call a water cannon, deals water damage this time. Sure, I'll pick it up. Oh, Jesus. He's just staying in that corner, too. Uh, I'll take this damage here. Yeah, the fire shield doesn't help much here. I'm stunned now. Fire damage is actually working against me. Let's get the homie out. Whoops. There's a big dude down there. Take care of this guy. We'll pick this up. Let's use our wind. Teleport. Then... Oh, I can't have more than one, it looks like. Or a bunch more. That should be, that should be good, right? Oh my god. It's only a range of like two. <laughs> This ain't looking too hot. It's gonna keep beating him up. Oh, yeah, that's screen. Uh, I'm gonna take damage here. Let me go ahead and swap to this. Brief immunity. I'm still stunned. No more, no more healing or anything. I'm. This is it. Still stun, stun, stun. Oh man. Let's grab this. Can I use water damage on this guy? Is that gonna do extra? Ooh, wow. Yes, a lot more damage. Okay. I feel like I'm being such a noob right now. Like, there's so many things I'm not using. I'm not using correctly, I should say. Okay, this time he's not getting away. This time it's going down. Now he's done. Now I can... Pull out the homie. We could do some work. Not the, not my best work, but it's work nonetheless. Uh, is that coming my way? Gosh, it sure looks like it might be. Hard to tell from here. Okay, warp away. This guy is going to do something crazy. But he's out of my range, so. Oh, 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 oh. 
Uh, he might actually be just perfectly... In oh, damn. I think I can spread the poison this way, right? Yes. Oh, well, of course he moves out of the way. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> For sure. That's exactly what he was going to do. Let me see. Not where I wanted to teleport to, but... Damn it. Man! Got hectic! <sighs> Failed. Not a bad... That is the furthest I've gotten, actually. How funny. Um, well, it was a long episode anyway, so <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> a good solid run. Now you get back. Uh, I have a maximum of 500 gold. She wakes up. She's in the nightmare realm now. Uh, and so now we have the item lady over here. Cool. Oh, dear, isn't that? Oh, okay. gosh, I really wish they give me a second to read that stuff. <laughs> so I have 500 gold because I specced into allowing me to pull home at least 500 gold. And I have 241 of those dream crystals. Let me see what she has. Let's make sure you're getting a name wrong, honey. Ellie, is it? L. It was nice meeting you to help back there, little L. You can call me Amanda. I worked as a housekeeper for Dr. Frank. And this is Annie. Meow. Used to be good at needle work. My eyes were so good. If you want, I could still make you some pouches or bags. Uh, this way, you'll be able to carry more food with you on your journeys without proper nutrients. You won't be able to grow stronger. Thank you very much, Miss Amanda. Well, let me see. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. So, let's see. Uh, if a boss-type enemy was defeated in your last Dream Realm adventure, uh, a treasure chest will appear in the initial room on your next adventure. The more bosses you defeated, the better the treasure will be. Huh. It's only five to get started. Now we have a next, see, increase, what does it say? Uh, increase item, item stacks, increase by five. That's awesome. We, I was really bad at using items the, in the last run, but, you know, I will get better at that. I uh, see next level, <laughs> next level inventory expansion, carry limit uh, of different items increased by one. Okay, so that must be the locks on the items. Uh, 75 and 30. I have 236 left. There's a couple other things I could put, put these into. Um, like down here with alchemy, I can make my potion a little bit stronger. Uh, let's see, Barbara. Yes, yeah, so I can make my potion a little bit stronger. So boom, boom, and then I'll unlock this one. When you use your elixir, you gain one extra blink, and then you could go all the way down to uh, Arsenal Deal. A new merchant will show up in front of a boss rooms. Right? That's cool. So yeah, there's, there's, as as you typically expect with roguelites, you are going to be constantly um, uh, progressing and getting stronger and stronger to the point to where you're going to just start barreling through the first level or the first like world set or whatever uh, until you make your way through to um, to whatever the final boss is, which I have not encountered yet. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's that's uh, uh, that's crown trick in a nutshell. Uh, thank you guys. Oh, I haven't touched my mouse in a minute, I guess. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, my name is Mike BAK Phone. You can pick this game up on Steam on uh, 1999, uh, or you can pick it up on the Switch, which is uh, kind of what I'm, what I'm, what I'm kind of, uh, you know, trying to figure out if I want to do that. I think I will actually. It's a perfect game for falling asleep in the middle of a battle too. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. I'll see you. Bye.